Kevin Davis was born December 27, 1995, and growing up, he basically had a normal life, but there were a few strange things that occurred while he was growing up. He basically didn't have a lot of friends, and wasn't very outgoing. You could say he had a kind of strange behavior. In one instance, he strangled, and drowned a family cat. On the morning of March 27, 2014, Kevin Davis, bored and frustrated with life, told his mother, Kimberly Hill, he did not like people, he was bored with life, and that he wanted to commit suicide. She was obviously caught off guard by the statement, and being nonchalant, Hill allegedly told her son that she could not stop him if that was what he wanted to do. This enraged Kevin, who instead decided to take his mom's life. While his mom sat on the couch in the living room, Davis came up behind her, and attempted to strangle her with a game station cord. Hill began screaming. Kevin panicked, grabbed a hammer, and began bashing his mother's skull in. Davis hit his mother in the head with a hammer at least 20 times, splitting her skull in the process. After this, Kevin dragged her to her bedroom and stabbed her bleeding head with a knife. Then, he stuck his fingers inside the wound to move her brain around to ensure that she was dead. And, as if that wasn't enough, he then raped his mother's dead body. When he was done, he ran out of the house, in a panic, jumped on his bike, and started riding. He then stumbled upon a neighbor's house, and asked the neighbor to call 911, that he had just killed someone. The neighbor did just that. When the police arrived, he turned himself in and confessed to all of his doings. When the police officers were interrogating him, they asked what Kimberly did to deserve all this, and all Kevin replied was, absolutely nothing. I'm just a terrible, disgusting person. He also added that she was the best mother who didn't deserve to die and that he lost his virginity to her dead corpse. I tried to strangle it with a cord, ripped the cord from a video game console controller. That didn't work. She's sitting on the couch for what I'm eating. That didn't work out too well. She started screaming. And so I went to her room, opened a drawer at the very bottom to the right. I pulled out a hammer. I went back in the living room. And well, you kind of get the gist from there. And uh, she was out pretty quickly. So when, when you dragged her to the, the living room, I mean to the bedroom, you kept on hitting her there? During his interrogation, Kevin also admitted to other things. He said that he didn't regret killing Kimberly and that after he was done, he waited for his sister to come back home so that he could do the same to her. I decided against it because, well, I had my fill of killing. I didn't, it seemed a bit much. He also confessed to then fleeing the crime scene on his bicycle. Before he did that, though, he left several handwritten notes for the police, one of which read, Chase me. Sorry for the mess. KD, but, after a while, he decided against leaving town and called 911 to report his mother's killing and his crimes. How many times have you ever lived in her? At least 20, but then she was still alive. I dragged her into the room, as you clearly saw. I just knew it was time to act now, now or never. Do you feel sorry you did this to your mom? In a way, yes, but I wouldn't take back what I did. Strange, really. I did love her. Uh, you being mean to me? To oh, me? no, no, she's been the best mother. How long have you had this thought to be It's around my preteens, actually. I just accepted it as a part of me. I wasn't really ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. It just was what it was. Did you ever tell anybody else what your plans were? What you wanted to do your mom or your sister? No, but over the years, there were hints. We used to have a gray cat named um, Claire. I strangled it, I drowned it, and then I cut it open. Family looks past that kind of stuff, or they try to not look at it.
I decided against it because, well, I'd had my fill of killing. I didn't seem a little much. You remember what the nut said? <sighs> Keep your head. Hurry. She might still be alive, although I highly doubt it in parentheses. Are you just messing with, with Desiree by writing that, that she might still be alive? In my sick sense of humor, okay. I was pretty well off my rocker by then. Initially, my plan was just to run, run, run as far as I can, but then I ended up crying my eyes out and like some thick boys, like, oh, uh, what did I do? I knew that my life wasn't going to go anywhere, not anymore. This is the first time he's really been able to fulfill this fantasy and experience any sort of intense emotion. And that may have been overwhelming for him, not in a negative or positive way, not because he regretted it or felt shame for it, but it was just a release. Emergency. Oh, yes, ma'am. Someone just knocked on my door. He's here at my door right now, and he wanted me to call 911 because he said he just murdered someone. Do you consider you mentally disturbed? Do you consider yourself crazy? I'm sane. I know exactly what I did. I know that it's wrong in the, tradi in the traditional mm -hmm. sense of wrong. I don't have standards or morals. Mm -hmm. Body to body. In. In the end, piece of meat. I guess it's harsh to say. Kimberly Diane Hill, born on March 28, 1963, in Miami, Oklahoma, daughter of Clyde Ray Hill and Sharon Violet Maples, was described as a devoted, selfless mother and a proud Marine corporal who served for her country from 1982 to 1992. Her nature was described as loving and caring, which also extended to her professional career, as, at the time of her death, Kimberly was working as a hospice caregiver. There seemed to be nothing wrong, but the day before she turned 51, on March 27, 2014, she ended up losing her life in her apartment in Corpus Christi, Texas, to a disturbed son. Kevin Davis has been in jail ever since the day of Kimberly's death. After he confessed to everything, he was charged with first-degree murder. But even then, in June of that same year, he pleaded not guilty when the time came for him to go to court. He later changed his plea, but the fact always remained that his entire confession was on tape and that he had admitted to the police that, if given the chance, he would kill and abuse again. In the tape, at one point, he could even be heard saying, I don't have standards. I don't have morals. A body is a body, a piece of meat. During his trial, a doctor's testimony revealed that Kevin does, in fact, have a personality disorder. But, in saying that, the doctor also added that Kevin knew full well the difference between right and wrong when he killed his mother, and so, there was no medical reasoning or explanation behind his actions. This was only reiterated by Kevin's own words in the confession tape, where he had said that he should get 100 years because I'm not mentally disturbed, I'm sane. I know what I did. Therefore, in October of 2014, when he pleaded guilty and his trial came to an end, he was found guilty of his charge. As for his sentencing, Kevin Davis was given life in prison. The death penalty was not an option for him in this case because it involved a murder charge, not capital murder. And so, today, Kevin is behind bars, at the Jester 4 facility in Richmond, Texas. According to his prison records, he will be eligible for parole in March of 2044. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy these videos, drop a like in there too. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to see a certain video on something, leave it in a comment below. Until next time, stay safe.